Hey guys, Luke from Trout River Industries here. I'd like to welcome you to our tip of the week. This week, we're gonna talk about checking and adjusting your chain tension. There's two ways to check your chain tension. We'll go over both of those right now. The first one is the pry bar method. You guys have probably all seen it before. Put a pry bar in under the chain, pry up on the chain. If it moves up seemingly as a unit, then it's at its proper tension, it's got a good tension. If, say you pried it right here, and this link and this link both pivoted upwards, and it was just those links moving, that'd mean your chain was way under tension. So basically, you're looking to see if there's any pivot. If there's pivot, your chain probably needs some tension. The second method is to come to the rear of the trailer and watch the chain as you're unloading. As the conveyor goes around, the highest point of strain would be right above the motor, right above the shaft as it comes around because that's where most of the pulling power is coming from. That would mean that the least strain would be right here, which means that if there's any slack, this will actually dip down before being sucked back up into the conveyor track. I'll put a diagram up on screen. Sometimes, instead of dipping down, it might stick to the to the sprocket and it'll, it'll go up. So it, if it either rides up before leveling out or rides down before leveling out, those are both good signs of a chain that's not proper. The conveyor chain is tensioned by moving your front shaft forward. To do this, you gotta loosen off your four adjuster lock bolts. Then, this is your adjustment screw here. Some of the adjustment screws have a lock nut on them, some of them don't, and this one it does. So you gotta loosen off your lock nut and then turn your adjustment screw to tension each side of the conveyor. So you gotta do this to each side. Both sides usually take about the same amount. When the chain is at its proper tension, tighten up all the lock bolts and nuts again. Just to finish, I'd like to add that if your chain is not properly oiled, and if it's rusty and seized up, you're not gonna get a proper reading doing this, either of these methods. As you can imagine, if it was all stuck together in the pins and you pry, it's gonna lift as a unit, even if it's not tensioned right. Again, guys, I'd like to thank you for joining our tip of the week this week, and remember, always keep your chain well oiled. See you next time.